with this super cold and windy, so you never know what weather you're gonna get here. Welcome to Paquete, the adventure capital of Panama. It's located in the highlands and you get a guaranteed rainbow every single day if you come here in December like I did. I will be doing some hiking, we'll be going to the top of Volcan Baru and a lot more and a couple of surprises which most people miss. So without wasting more time, let's start. Hola from Boquete. I just got here and I am already in love with this place. Just look behind me. Wow. So if you're getting here, the best thing to do is to get to David from anywhere. From David, it's super easy. If you're coming from Panama City, fly into David. Get to the bus terminal. There's always a bus ready and it takes 45 minutes to an hour and it's also super cheap. The way here is also really beautiful. I'm staying in a place called Buena Vista. Um, look at the views. That's why it's called Buena Vista. Let me show you around a bit and then we'll explore more. Oh my god, I love this place. This is the little lounge area where you can chill. And this is the best part. The rooftop. Look who we have here, hello. Time to explore around Bukete a little bit, but honestly, the one thing I'm really happy about, Bukete is much cooler. About five to seven degrees cooler compared to the coast, which feels great because of my sunburn, which is healing, but it's still, you know, a little bit icky, especially when it's hot. Let's go check out Bukete. Oh my God, look, there's a rainbow. Oh wow, okay, that's super nice. So Bukete is quite small and there's nothing special about the town itself. There are some small cottages, but I was expecting, you know, it to be one of those places with cute little cottages, you know, in the middle of the mountains. It's not like that. It's pretty basic. There's one main street that goes right through it pretty basic it's nothing special so two things before I let you go for the night uh, one I'm not gonna be doing any coffee tours here because I've done plenty of them I don't even drink coffee so I don't want to spend any money on it but this is the best place to have any coffee tours or coffee if you are in Panama so don't skip it if you're a coffee lover secondly if you're booking any tours I would recommend coming here and booking them because honestly the, the tour that I booked here for $80 is $125 online that's how much the difference is. So I'm gonna go get some sleep, well, dinner and then some sleep because I need to wake up tomorrow for a very special surprise. So, see you then. Unlike its northern neighbor, Panama just doesn't get enough credit. I really think it's super underrated and really beautiful country. So I created an entire playlist for all the destinations, things to do, as well as travel guide. So click on the link above and check it out. Good morning. I don't know whether it's technically a morning or not yet because it's like 3.45 a.m. My guide is here and we're getting on a Jeep and going to the top of Volcan Baru to see that amazing sunrise. More about that on the way. While you can totally get to the top of Volcan Baru, it is actually a 27 kilometer round hike and it takes about five hours each way. I didn't fancy doing any of that, so I decided to go for a Jeep tour. We left and it took about an hour, hour and a half to get on top of that. Now the roads are really bad and you can only go on these super Jeep type things, which are quite interesting, but you actually get to see how bad the roads are when you're coming back when there's more light. We just got to the top and it's super cold here. We can't go any further because of all the fog. So this is the highest point you can go get with the car and then it's another 10-15 minutes to the top. But we have to stop until it becomes better with the visibility. Fingers crossed. It's become a bit better so we're going up.
Well, the better was not actually a lot better because we went up and then we had to stay again because the top of the mountain was covered in fog as well. So we stood there for a bit in the cold, in the wind, until we got the signal that we can finally go all the way to the top. I would be really mad if I hiked all those way up just for this. <laughs> Welcome to the town of Panama. It's playing hide and seek here with the sun, but it seems to be clearing up a little bit and do come like really prepared because it is super cold and windy. So you never know what weather you're gonna get here. Wow. These series of islands, that's where I was yesterday. That's Boca Brava and Boca Chica. Oh, and that's the Pacific coast. Wow. Wow. You see that very tiny sliver of blue? That's the Caribbean Ocean. The rest of it is covered in clouds. Guys, this is Richard, Hi. the best guide ever. If you wanna do the tour, I'll leave the details below. Ask for Richard, he's amazing, seriously. I appreciate that. Had an amazing time, it was a perfect reveal. Okay, time to go back down. Let's go. This is the coldest breakfast I've ever had. It was super windy, but to be honest, the hot chocolate was really delicious and the view made up for all the cold. See, I told you, you only get to see how bad the road is in proper light. And to be fair, it didn't take any less time to go down than going up. What a beautiful day. I came back, instantly fell asleep, woke up like super nice and fresh, had a nice lunch. And I wanted to do the pipeline trail with the waterfall at the end. But sadly, it takes about three hours. You add filming, it's about four hours and it's already 3 p.m. and I don't want to be there when it's dark. So I decided not to do it. Instead, I'm taking you to a really nice place that most people actually miss when they come to Bukhete. It's about a kilometer out of town. So a really nice, easy 15, 20 minutes walk. Let's go. Welcome to Mariposario, the house of butterflies. So I literally just got in and as I entered, I got to see not one, two, three, but four hummingbirds. I managed to capture one for you and it's my first time seeing them in person. So I'm really, really happy. It's turning out to be my lucky day, right? So about this place, which I came for. So they have um, a lot of different types of butterflies, also do tours and they tell you more about the life cycle, etc. But I'm here only to see them because I've already studied all of that. They also do honey, not so interested in bees either. So let's go check it out. Wow, it's like someone's opened heaven for you. Panama has a special relationship with these beauties. Did you know the name Panama means abundance of fish, trees and butterflies? I am so happy I didn't miss this place. How beautiful are butterflies, seriously. And I've seen so many of them in Panama generally, but it's very hard to catch them on the camera because they're super fast. But there's so much variety and beauty here. Unbelievable. I'm gonna walk back to the town, honestly take the rest of the day. Here's another fun thing you can do in Bukete, a chocolate making class. I've done this before, so I'm, be, I'm gonna be skipping this one as well. But if you want it, do book it in advance. It's called the perfect pair. You can look them up online. It's quite fun. While you enjoy Panama, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can bring you some more amazing travel destinations. A lot of them, you don't even know you need to go. So subscribe now. Buenos dias, it's my third and last day in Bukete and I've reserved it for that special hike, the Lost Waterfall or Las Tres Cascadas. 
uh, in Sarish. So to get there, you need to take a taxi all the way to the entrance. The entrance is about $10 right now. And then basically I'll show you the rest on the way, but I'm making a quick stop at Los Ladrillos, which is like this natural formation, which is perfect for rock climbing. So if that's your thing, you can spend more time here. Let's continue and start the hike. Another quick stop for Ramon Waterfall. I have just arrived at the beginning of the trail. If you're looking for it on Google Maps, it's Sandero Culebra. And then you will see the Las Tres Cascadas board. And that's where we start. Let's go. This is just the beginning and this is the Caldera River. I need to pay $10 only cash by the way and then we start on the trail. This is the most popular tourist trail, but that doesn't mean there are any facilities here. So make sure to bring yourself some water, some comfortable shoes with good grip because it is quite muddy here, and a snack. Let's continue. The trail is not very difficult. It's like easy to medium difficulty. Uh, and I'm very close to the first waterfall. Our first waterfall! You can't swim in the first waterfall, but I did enjoy looking and marveling at its majesty. Seriously, it's beautiful. I'm heading to the second waterfall now and the route to the second waterfall is a lot muddier than the first one. Number two! Oh yes, you can definitely swim in the second waterfall, but the problem is it was quite cold and I was really wet already because it's so humid. So I just dipped my feet and decided to head to the third waterfall. The way to the third waterfall is the most treacherous, but they have these ropes that you can use to climb up. Honestly, I did think about going back after the second waterfall because the trail was really muddy, but I'm so glad I came here. This actually is my favorite waterfall out of three. Yay! I just did my first cloud forest hike and I'm so happy. You know, it's not just about the waterfalls. It's also the little bugs, you know, flowers I've never seen before, plants. And I only saw one bird, but I heard a lot of them. So it's, it's a bit like recharging your soul on a different planet, which I'm really happy about. So it's time to head back to town because everything in my bag is going to get wet, which includes my drone, which I can't afford. So let's go. What a nice little surprise. Hello. Okay, apparently not.
I woke up this morning and took a shuttle to Bocas del Toro. Now, if you are traveling between the two places, I would honestly recommend the shuttle. It's convenient and also it takes you through the highlands, which the public transport doesn't. So the whole way was like really beautiful with clouds covering and like racing with the car. At points, it was so dense that you couldn't see beyond like two, three meters, which was really beautiful. I also got to see my first rainbow rise, which is absolutely stunning. Well, I'm here now in Bocas del Toro and we will be going around exploring some more beautiful places amazing beaches some amazing interactions that i didn't have anywhere else in the world so click on the link above and meet me here Ta.